Hey guys, it's Baby Powder, and we are back to another one of our 200 runs loop series videos. And this one, of course, is for RFK. Uh, last one was for Mana Tombs, and the one coming up is going to be for Darmal North, uh, which we actually just I just finished tonight. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're still ahead. Like keeping it that way. Uh, Want to stay ahead, but we are still only posting our auctions uh from the dungeons once a week so you know just hold on to the items until it's that week to actually post them but uh seeing that we're actually already doing this video i'm doing it a little bit early uh as i have been doing um but we will actually be posting this week when this video comes out be posting the stuff from rfk so we're going to go ahead and go over what we got uh from 200 runs uh we do 200 runs of each dungeon i do it with two druids so i do uh 100 with my alliance druid 100 with my horde druid and we sell everything on two different realms although it is a goal for us to reach gold cap uh so if we do have some items especially with the high value items that the Alliance Druid got or the Horde Druid got and they have duplicates and the other one didn't we will trade uh, In order to try to reach that goal a little bit faster, but still only posting uh, From one dungeon a week with 200 runs worth of loot from said dungeon uh, And that way we can kind of track see how our sales improve uh, But again, we go over all that too when we do the clean out videos on Sunday, which actually would have been uh, just yesterday from where we actually add its uh, mana tombs to our cells so with all that being said uh first off before we get into the video though i would like to mention uh if you haven't already and you are looking for some guides for some farming uh material uh away from youtube uh go check out gaminghero.io uh there is a link down below and if you use the code word potato you'll actually get a discount on a membership there if you want to check out some of the premium guides uh but anyway back to the video we did rfk for 200 runs and of course rfk has some pretty nice loot so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got all right guys so here we are on our first bank all for our 200 run series uh for rfk let's go ahead and take a look and see what at least our alliance Dru druid brought in from doing their 100 runs and then we'll switch over to our horde druid so uh here we go i got everything here in the guild bank here uh first off we'll go ahead and start off with our high value items i've got them here at the front so uh we got the shift of the shade staff uh, we actually got two of those uh, 105,000 region value um, not horrible sell rate not the best but uh, still not horrible for a high value item like that uh, we have the slag hammer actually got three of those 114,000 uh, and then we've got the Pison's old great sword 129,000 for that one actually about double what the sell rate is on the staff here uh and the slag hammer so not bad there uh also got the sword of decay uh 129 000. only got one of those though avengers armor 98 000 for that one uh black velvet robes now actually this is not specific to the dungeon these ones are um but this one actually i believe i got out of a chest uh only 24 000 though uh but still not bad see the sell rates pretty high on this one actually uh and actually it looks like on this realm it's actually posting for above its value which is always a you know pretty decent sign too sometimes um we got the pug list bracers actually that is specific uh 19 000 gold for that or that one for each of value uh so just right below the high value um part with that so i mean still not bad though uh wolf claw gloves only got one of those 88 000 for that one uh, and then we've got uh, this one. Uh, it's a green, but it is, you know, right there at the high value stage. 37,000 for that one. Really low sell rate, though. Um, and then we just got some other greens here that are, you know, decent value. Uh, spike chain breastplate. Uh, you got that 29,000. And then the rain collar robes, 21,000 for that one. We've actually got five of those. Uh, and then over here, we've got our low value uh, items, just, you know, 
We got some more rain collar stuff, um, but it's still, you know, it's below that 20,000 mark. Uh, centuries pieces, uh, you know, ran, you know, random stuff, rain collar again, uh, wicked chain stuff, um, you know, pathfinder. Uh, also, um, you know, just a bunch of other little things. Uh, then we got some low value blues to the combatant uh, Claymore, uh, 6,000, only selling for 500 on this run, but it has a decent sell rate and I have sold these. So uh, not a bad item to get. Sometimes you don't always need the very high stuff. You know, it's nice when things just sell pretty fast. Um, and then uh, we did also get uh, Pattern uh, Shadow Hood out of one of the chests, 119,000, not a bad amount for that. Uh, and then we do got some of these rings here, the planes ring. <laughs> Definitely not going to get 61,000 for it, but hey, we might be able to get something for it here. Um, and that is it as far as the loot that we actually got from uh, 100 runs. I actually was kind of expecting a little bit more, but still not bad with you know the amount of like high value items that we got. Uh, still not bad, but uh, then we also did get some materials. So we'll go ahead and take a look there. Uh, just, uh, you know, one thing is we got the large fangs, a lot less value than they used to be. Uh, a bunch of old herbs um, and we got some leather stuff. A lot of the stuff comes from the, basically comes from out of the chest when we open them up, uh, except for like the large fangs. I believe they come off like the bats and stuff when we actually kill them. Uh, but yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, now we'll go ahead and take a look at our Hortoon and see how they kind of compare to our alliance. All right, guys, so here on our horde tune, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what loot they got for their 100 runs and see how it kind of compares to what we saw with the Alliance tune. So here we go. We've got our uh, loot separated out and starting off again with the high value stuff. Uh, we did also get one of the staffs of the shade. Uh, only got one though where the Alliance had two. Uh, again, 105,000. Uh, we only got one of the slag hammers where the lions had three 114,000 also got two of the pisons old great swords um, 129,000 when uh, we got a double link tunic actually out of a chest <laughs> So this was not uh, the Avengers armor like we had uh, with the lights I almost thought it was because it looks like the same, you know thing, but a lot less value Of course, it's not specific to the dungeon 27,000 that came out of a chest pub Pugless bracers, we got a pair of those, 19,000. Uh, and then we got two of the Mantle of the Thieves, where the, uh, again, it's only 30,000, but it is a specific item there. And uh, we didn't see any on the Alliance, so maybe that's something we can trade over. Um, I'm not sure if we actually had, I can't really remember if we had something that we had duplicates that I'm not seeing here. For the alliance that we could possibly trade over unfortunately it looks like the the whore did not make out as well as the alliance did uh then we've got uh the guardian blade here got two of those uh yeah we didn't see one of those over there on the alliance only ten thousand, but still really good sell rate uh we got the kill maim here um uh, seven thousand low value item combat and claim wars we got five of them over here on the line on the horde uh, then our green items here, we've got the spike chain breastplate, uh, 29,000, uh, ring collar robes, 21,000, and uh, watcher's jerkin, 28,000 for that green. Uh, and then again, we, we also have our low value stuff here, just like we did with the Alliance. Um, some centuries pieces, you know, ring collar stuff, uh, uh, even some, looks like we might even have some other stuff that we didn't have in the Alliance though with this uh, stuff. but. Either way, uh, still not bad, not bad. Uh, Lions just did a little bit better, but we've had some times where it seemed like our Horde Tune did better. So it's a little nice uh, way of kind of switching it up to kind of even out the loot a little bit just with a different dungeon. Uh, looks like uh, we also got the pattern for the Guardian Belt. Again, came out of a chest, 101,000, not bad though. Uh, Thistle Tea, that actually came out of some of the lock boxes. Uh, I didn't really mention anything with lock boxes with the Alliance tomb because we didn't get anything. <laughs> so, so yeah, I uh, did get a thistle tea out of one of the lock boxes though with the Alliance, and we also got three of these planes rings, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, not bad. Uh, Would have you know hoped to have gotten uh, some of the other items. The RFK does have uh, a few, a couple more items that you know can possibly drop that we didn't see here, unfortunately. 
Um, but yeah, uh, not bad at all. We do got some items that we aren't currently posting. Uh, so it'd be nice to see if these will help our sales when we do add this uh, to our sales uh, this week. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is all as far as the loot we got from RFK. You know, definitely make sure you leave in the comments down below what you think. Uh, what, you know, you would have liked to have seen, you know, we got now those uh, runs. Uh, I know one is like the big boy, the robes, the bike cures robes or however you say it. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I actually do run 240 runs each time I do these because I do 40 runs for my main realms first to kind of keep them stocked up. And then I start counting down the 200 runs for this series that we actually keep data on. And that's just to make sure why I'm concentrated on these uh 200 run series we don't run out of loot on those and unfortunately we got those robes on both of my druids uh, <laughs> on those 40 runs so for my old runs we didn't get them for this but uh anyway so yeah we're we're not going to add extra or anything i'm keeping track of what we get during 200 runs this is what we got uh so unfortunately my old realms got them but we didn't get them here so <laughs> uh you know it doesn't mean we'll sold them right away anyway and got the true value but i mean they are up there um pretty high so uh always nice you know get those items because you might get a sale from it but anyway guys uh i hope you guys are enjoying these videos and i hope you enjoyed this one uh and everything that we got uh let me know what you think about the loot and uh also if you did like the video make sure that you hit that thumbs up down below let me know that you liked it also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one when it comes out uh and don't forget to follow me on twitch uh down below is the link for twitch where you can actually join me on these runs uh we can do lax and uh it makes it a lot more fun uh, especially if you're into this type of farming as well or just come out and hang out and just see it done live also don't forget if you are looking for some guides away from youtube uh go check out gaminghero.io uh there is a bunch of free guides as well as there are some premium guides uh that you would have to get a membership for but if you do get the membership just use the code word potato you get a little bit of a discount uh but anyway that is going to be it for me on this one guys i hope to see you all in the next loot video in the next clean out video see how much we actually made from these items and hope to see you over on twitch when we're doing it live all right guys i will catch you next time